Welcome back to That's Right or Racist. It's a game that really pushes how controversial we can be. Uh, anyways, we got the pile of cards here. Uh, whoever's going first is the bigot. I wanted to be a bigot. No, you want to be the bigot. No, it's okay. You can go, Mr. Wizard. I didn't lose. I'm holding a shit inside of my body so potently that you might start smelling it soon. So. Prairie dog, that bad. Prairie well, dog. Maybe because it, it fucking have all this like bike gear on. Then orange vest. It's a warning. Fucking Yellow vest. Contracting your vessels in your arms. Mormons <laughs> uh, wear temple garments, derided by some as magical underwear, because early Mormon oh, teachings right? describe these undergarments as giving the owner high fertility and potency. That's fucking racist, dude. Is can that you, racist? Or is that, that, is that racist or is that right? That's kind of how the game works. <laughs> Nobody looks. It sounds like three. Some. Uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, it sounds like something the Mormons would do. Yeah, you think? So? I think so. You think so? They're a bunch of wacky, wacky people. I have. They are <coughs> former members of, you know, the church. They had to wear those undergarments. What? But is that the reason why? You're a Mormon. I'm a Mormon. LDS. Former LDS. Escaped the church. Flood West to form Catchop. How long were you a Mormon for? I, okay, I, I wasn't. I wasn't. That's someone I went to high school with. Okay, well, but I, just, I don't know if that's the reason. But I mean, enough of it is true that I'm assuming the game isn't going to be a bitch about it, <laughs> which means I'm probably wrong. Of that's course. Right. Of course. <laughs> Eat shit. Eat shit and die. <laughs> what does it say? The undergarments are seen as a symbolic or literal source of protection from the evils of the world. What's the fucking difference? Not I'm, sure that's any more reasonable, but whatever. Uh, uh, I'm a bigot because the slightly different source of origin for the fact that they're wearing undergarments. I don't like these fucking. Why that's such fucking bullshit. bullshit. Like these Why little, are you guys such bigots? These little things. This game is fuck off. Fucking Shut the fuck up. Why don't you guys game, just take the up. fucking L, dude? That's like, Why you guys? Don't. Why you guys have to fucking uh, actually, out, dude? Actually, it doesn't give them special. All these, all these fucking special snowflakes. This is why there's so many compilations of you guys screaming, dude. But they can't, but can't the, fucking handle humility, dude. You can't Jesus. call me a snowflake when I just lost. You're first. By this PC. Wanna see you on the yeah, you, you lost you on the other side. I'm a MAGA. Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying to me right fuck? now? Why are you talking to me right now? <laughs> I'm just saying, when the war starts, you're first. <laughs> you know about Stickman, dude? Yeah. I'm about to call him up. <laughs> what? Actually, I, I'm wondering how the last video did. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure the last video did really good. Uh, keep up the <laughs> positive <laughs> ratings. <laughs> <on those. laughs> hey, I got a question for you, Alex. <clears throat> Do you know that uh, blondes, blondes, Ooh. are considered the best in bed compared to brunettes, redheads, and those with black hair? According to a survey of 1,000 people by EllicitEncounters.com, Britain's that's leading. Solid. That's Britain's leading dating website for married people. It's like, uh, what's the one here? The fucking. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, According to illicit encounters, I mean, somebody going, all right, well, I, listen. We, but that's irrelevant. Blondes it are is considered relevant, the though. best in bed compared to brunettes, redheads, and those with black According hair. To According some to some website. According to a survey of. There's a live chat on this. You can right. chat with people on it. Whoa. Whoa. To work. Ask them if it's true. All right, ready? Three, two, one. That's racist. I think that's right. I think enough people feel that that, that would be not insane to yeah. believe. And again, Blondes? Yeah, yeah, that's the whole. That's how I don't know because I heard I heard that it's just like they're like you know blondes are like fish in bed. You know what do you identify as? Just depends on how this answer goes. That's oh, like okay. A, what do you think most can't people? Can't change think? my answer. <laughs> 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 yeah. What do you think? So what do you think is the best hair color for you know sexual prowess? Redhead. <laughs> change my answer. You fucker, you can't do that. What the fuck? I forgot, I he forgot how red He flipped, dude. I forgot. Dude, oh, he you can't. You no, it? he already oh, flipped it. I didn't know you I think we flipped it. it at the same time, <laughs> okay. to be fair. All right. All right. This is the last time we're fucking listening. That's fine. Well, a lot of people would get out of here. Bigot, bigot, bigot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 58% 50 per, of the fucking UK, so let's just put that out there, yeah. said brunettes make the best lovers. Could be because 42% say brunettes are the most willing to try new things in bed. All right, I don't know what the fuck's going on across well, the fucking pond, but here in America, he's listen, still not true. Listen, <laughs> listen. Still a general <laughs> Maybe in America it would work better, I think. Mm -hmm. I think it really depends on the, on the locale. 
Wow, the tables are really turned. Let's see. This to be the Look how woke you it's are a this new, time. It's a new clean slate for me. <laughs> I like this one. Okay. I like this one. 44% of Jewish households earn over 100000 per year, the highest rate of all religious groups, according to Pew Research Center data in 2014. That is goddamn That's right. 100% right. That is right. fucking right right, right there. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. 100000 a year at least. 44% of Jewish households. The Jews. This feels like a trap. Wait, what about the Jews? This does feel like a trap a little bit. Mm -hmm. Wait, I want to see what, what the rest of the sentence is. Are great people. Thank you. All of them I have met. I'm changing. Based I on the bait. I am also changing. I, think I attended my first bris this year and I'm changing. Did the baby not make a lot of money? The baby did not make a lot of money, <laughs> to be honest with you. And the answer is it's right. That's right. I shouldn't have changed That's, my answer. That felt like, was felt like right. Nate. I'm gonna marry me a nice sweet Jewish girl. Hashtag inheritance. That's kinda fucked up. That's kinda fucked up. That's, That's, That's a little racist. That's a little racist. Nice. That's a little racist. This game got in my head and now I'm like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> There's another one about Jewish people. <gasps> Jewish people have a, the highest rate of education, bachelor's degree, or higher among all religious groups. It's the same fucking place that, that, according to the data, it's the same fucking place. Don't make the same mistake twice, my no, man. No, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. No, that's, that's gotta be the racist one. They can't one of these is bait. Be. One of these, I'm gonna find the card that's bait. It's gotta be, this has gotta be just, racist. Gotta I be bait. feel like All right. racism. All right, it's racist. Let's, let's see what it is. Let's why, see. Why, well, why do you guys think, why do you think no, that's- I'm with you. It's the secret cabal of Jewish power that runs the world and controls the weather. And it, they don't have to even graduate college to just pull nepotism and you, take over the town. Know? I agree. Right? I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm just saying. Everything I'm just said, speaking truth. Here we go. true that's in the Jewish Bible. <laughs> yeah, it's not even racist. It's just it's that's, the reality. That's right. They run the fucking world. Let's go. Let's go. It's going to be your own. Racist. Jesus, <laughs> dude. Sorry. Jews I got are really... second. With 60% having at least a bachelor's degree, Hindus. I called it! I called it! I called it! I knew it. I told I was you. Like, I, was I like knew Buddhist, it was Hindu. It was like Buddhism. Well, does that make sense? But uh, no. Jehovah Witness uh, have the lowest at 12%. <laughs> Losers. Nice so try. Some morons in here. <laughs> what a bunch of idiots. <laughs> Stupid Jehovah Witnesses. Wonderful. That, Sweet listen, I wanted it oh, to yeah, be that right. Was, was that mine? Oh yeah, that was mine. So, as of 2014, 40% of atheists aged or, or are aged 18 to 29, which is the highest rate of young people among all religions, according to Pew Research Center. This Pew Research guy, is there, this is the third yeah, one in the world. Yeah, what the hell? Who the fuck is Pew Research? Three, yeah. two, one. Yeah. I think that's No true. way. No way. Oh! oh. 44% of Muslims are aged 18 to 29. I can feel America trembling in fear. Oh no. Nice. I, I knew it. Split now. I knew it. You're the bigot. Oh my god, those oh, are shit. You say? are kind of a bigot. What can I say? <laughs> Being out of school, not having a job gets me you know what? You know what it is? <laughs> it was kind of a trick because it said, it, first of all, put atheism in like a religion bracket, in which yeah. case it's not the most popular religion, so why would you ever believe that? I guess by sheer it has numbers, the highest young percentage of people. I guess by sheer numbers, Islam is like what a third of the world or something. I don't know a lot of atheists that are pr like aggressively raising their children to be atheists in the sense that like almost any of these other competitors would be. You know what I mean? I'm not like you're like okay. two year old like no no don't listen to the story. Muslims no. are aggressive. More than an atheist, or just like any other. The truth. Now that's fun, that's some that's some racist shit right there. If I ever heard it. All right, listen. Wow. Let's take it back to blonde hair again for some reason. <laughs> Women who have naturally blonde hair have an average IQ score. Obscure. They can read cards better. Have an average IQ score about three points lower than their darker stranded counterparts, based on a study conducted by Ohio State University. Ohio, Ohio State. Lindsay is from Ohio, and that's, she's a natural that's born. Gotta be, that's got to be true. But I'll say it's racist just because. It's almost. It's got to be bait. Uh, it's got to be. Oh, but. I would say it's true, though. You get two in on it. You're like, it's bait. And you're like, no, it's bait. bait. I don't know. I don't <laughs> Double know. Bait. I don't know. I'm doubling down. I feel like there has to be a reason why that's. Oh, it was what up. are you doing here? I hear what you're saying. What are you what's smart? Your IQ? What's your IQ number? More than yours. What are you smart? What are you. I'd, what are you smart? How, with would me? She, how would she end up here? Nice try. 
Ha! This again. What are you smart? I How feel did any like, of us end up here? Like, let's just I feel like there has to be a reason for that having been a stereotype in the first place. Like there has to be some. You sort are of thinking too much with your with your fucking some blue sort of cow lick ass hairdo. You think it was based Dude. on like a study though? Yeah. I don't think it was based on academics. What okay. are you what are you what are you voting? What the fuck is it's this? You're supposed to fucking put it down. <laughs> what I'm gonna, are you voting? I'm gonna vote. It's racist. Even though it's I'll be the one. Okay. I'll be the one. <laughs> Sacrificial I'll lamb one. here. <laughs> That's racist. On Oof. average, blondes ranked at the top of the AQ test with an IQ Ooh. of 103.2. Brunettes. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just Ohio. On average. Brunettes scored 102.7, redheads 101.2, and women with black hair scored 100.5. Sorry, ladies. Just Ohio. I'm doing real good right now. <laughs> I'm, uh, Five I'm really maggots. Good. Wow, holy, I, I looked away and looked back and it still just surprises me. <laughs> um, What's it say? What's it say? Over 50% of nail salons in America are owned by Vietnamese Americans. As reported by- That's fucking racist. That's absolutely true. Actually. That's true. That's, true. That's, That's true. That's gotta be true. true. Sometimes you also gotta die on the head. <laughs> it's not really gonna Let offend anybody. Something. Let me ask you something. You, you, ask, you ask me something. Have you been to a nail salon? I've never even seen a nail salon. You've been to a nail salon. Mm -hmm. How many? Inside or walked past I mean, in just, a mall? I mean, just seen maybe. Sure. Uh, oh, I watch who, Better Call Saul. It, there you go. Uh, who owns those salons usually out of the many that you've maybe be have been to or seen? Vietnamese women? Yeah. Vietnamese Is that your women? point? I've never seen a <laughs> nail salon not never. owned by a How many nail salons never. have you been to to just a, be so a confident with? Never. A lot. A lot? Been to a lot. <laughs> Pedicures. Never. I'd say it's like I'd say it's like forty percent. Or Thai. 40 it's, a high, thai. it's a high Thai, thai. quotient, but it's a Thai Vietnamese. That's the bait. Maybe that's the bait. Maybe yeah. that's the bait. Ooh, that's it's fine. It. We'll live and die by it. Flip it. That's right. Oh, <laughs> what? What? What does that say? That's fucking racist as shit. You can't say that. What oh my say? god. How about that five dollar sucky sucky? Woo! That's nice. racist. Nice. Wow. It's racist that, as fuck. Not an option that. that you're being said, me. You can't say that. Nail God salon. damn. You can't say that. Don't go to nail salon and do that. That's not. They don't like that. <laughs> no, you can't, you'll get. But if you do that and you go to one and you say that, then you just go down the street to another one and try it again. <laughs> and you can just keep trying until it works, right? Get you know? bottles shattered on your face multiple <laughs> times in one day. <laughs> it's good luck. Okay. A research study by the Urban Institute identified approximately 1,200 erotic massage parlors offering happy endings and other ah. sexual services in New York City. For comparison's sake, there is about 280 Starbucks in New York City. That That's can't, fucking that right. Can't, that I was, it's so oddly specific. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like that probably could be right. I mean, I, I went to some of those, uh, you know, places in New York City. Uh -oh. I've seen them. Would you ever do anything outside of New York City besides like going to the hotel and like going to eat and <laughs> the, the thing you were going there for in the first place, which is like what? to film something, well, not just business. Well, it was business, but it was also pleasure. Flip that fucking card. Flip it. Yeah. That's right. Are you? F Come to think of it, my back is kind of aching a bit. I wow. only I only base this off of how many places out here ha have the same exact offer. Okay, you guys got two interesting stories you, to tell, clearly. Yeah, okay. We'll come back right. to that. I don't, I don't frequent these I'm really places, coming I'm around just saying. <laughs> I don't frequent them. He did them. it. He saved the MAGA streak. Marketplace.org reported in 2016 that there are more adult diapers sold in Japan than baby diapers. That is fucking correct. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Yeah, yeah that's, that's gotta correct. be right. Sure. Yeah. Also, this is such a harmless stereotype that like, I don't even care yeah. if I'm wrong. Okay, that's correct. That's right, baby. That's right. Sometimes it just sneaks up on you. Well, read the rest of it, you already started it. Like Pearl Harbor. Damn, that's so mean. To us. Huh. 42% of girls in Africa are forced or betrothed to marry someone before the age of 18, according to 2016 data. Africa Force? questions. Africa. They're gonna be. They're gonna be hit with this. Put a, I guess that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that, Racist. I think that's. Oh, I already have one out. I think that's Africa right. Africa covers a lot of ground. You're talking about places like Nigeria, Egypt, 
South Africa. I mean, like, there, it, it's, there's a lot. Morocco, right? It ain't right? so hot out there. It just ain't. It's just not good You've got, out there. I think just racist. overall. The entire continent. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty... Raise your hand if you've been to Africa. You see a lot of young wives there? What'd you do in Africa? I didn't do anything. I mean, I watched an episode of Magic School Bus where they went to Africa. <laughs> <It was> just, <laughs> I felt like I got a good grasp on things. Did they that. talk about, uh, like, under 18, like, uh, you know, eloping or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah, it was the Magic School Bus episode on fe <laughs> female circumcision. Uh... <laughs> That's right. It is right. You see, you fucking idiot. Sorry. could have changed that at the end there, but he didn't. It Dang. says, so the other 58% are just late bloomers? Well, the, the, the makers of this Let me are the racists. Wow. Yeah. Sorry. Africa. Wow. I hope around. there's more Africa questions. Me too. Oh, that's so confusing if that's the case. In Taiwan, 10 last names are shared by over 50% of the population. <laughs> In Taiwan, that's 10 real last confusing. names. They just have the same names. Yeah. What's yeah. some Taiwanese last names you can think of? Um, I've been in Thailand and just about everything looks the same over there. Um, wait, what did you say? <laughs> like 50% of the population. They share, they share the names. Shares the same 10 I kinda last names. It. I kind of believe it. I believe it. What do you think? I believe it. As an example? Yeah, Asians all have like the same what? last names. Like Lee. Lee. Han. Chung. Are you gambling? Is that yeah, what you're doing? That's what he's doing. You're he's gambling. You're not, you're not even. <laughs> yeah, you're not even playing. <laughs> you're just betting. You're straight up betting. What the well, fuck is this roulette? Like, what the fuck? Well, the odds are not in your favor, my friend. Oh, it's true. The ten names are Chan, Lin, Huang, Cheng, Li, Wang, Wu, Liu, Sai, and Yang. Hashtag. Read that. <laughs> Hashtag pots and pans. <laughs> I forgot about Yang. Is the pots and pans like the joke where you throw a bunch of pots yeah, and pans? Yeah, that's how I was named. Is that that's what Alex? It was a really weird shaped pan. <laughs> God damn it, dude. You want to switch? Want to switch your switch? What? Oh, you want one? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess that would make sense, right? It's your, it's your trophy now. Oh uh, yeah, baby, ready for the rally. Oh, dude, you beat Ooh. up one of those. MAGA guys. Yeah. That's epic. Uh, one out of four men under the age of 40 seek help for erectile dysfunction. Absolutely. That's a yeah. What? If not, if not so more. No, you don't think that? 25%. You know, I'm, I'm an optimist. <laughs> I like 25%? That. Yeah. I mean, that means one of, you know. Someone at this table. But you could also, it doesn't mean you never. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> no, I meant like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Flip okay. It. Flip it. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Nice. See, you're not the only one. Don't <sighs> be so hard, or should I say, soft on yourself. You should, we got the joke at hard. You didn't have to also leave. That's what it says on yeah, the. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm reading. Yeah, I know. Dot com slash chop. Here's a debate, guys. It's not true. Cats rule, dogs drool. That's stupid. Liberal professors outnumber conservative professors by a ratio of nearly 27 to 1 based on voter registrations at 40 leading universities per 2015 studies by the Econ Journal Watch. There are a lot. I don't think that number is right. 27 That's a lot. One. That's a lot. At 40 Academia, leading, ladies and gentlemen. leading universities. That includes... Harvard, MIT. Uh, I'm gonna stick to it. I'm gonna stick to it. I kind of want to change it. I can because you I'm the big it. it. Okay, ready? Yep. <coughs> Fuck. Uh, Fuck off. God damn it, dude. You fucking. Dude. Oh, it's only 11 and so a half to one. Oh, it's only. It's, it's, not, only. it's not 27. You, I mean, well, you were right because you said it seems pretty high. That seems too a little bit too high to me. That's fine. I'll take a magnet. What's the score? We got. Five MAGAs and one PC. Hell yeah, brother. So you got six. I got five <laughs> with three MAGA and two PC, three MAGA, two PC, and three PC police and one MAGA. Wow. Snowflake. Well, I learned my lesson from the last one. Yeah, There's a lot of debate on those. <laughs> <laughs> this one's good. This one's good, though. Let me shuffle them. 
The average Republican could beat the shit out of the average Democrat. <laughs> That's the debate. That's the debate. I like that debate. Yeah, I do too. I'll go with yeah. <laughs> That's a yeah. What does the average Republican look like versus the average Democrat? No matter what, there's a weight advantage on the Republican. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> For a good or ill. I think stereotype versus stereotype would probably be you know, pretty unfair. Plus, uh, yeah. I feel like Republicans own guns so probably in the fight. Is that the shift? That, that was the every, shift. Yeah. That was the shift. fight every Yeah, that was, that was the, for me, that was All the right. shift there. We'll just, we'll just carry on. All right, how about this? How about a nice, actual racist <sighs> question? The 2016 report titled The Color of Crime found that if New York City was all white, murder rates would drop by over 90%. Yeah. I mean, statistically. I'm gonna call that racist. That's I think I think racist. that the, the, the statistics of race, of who's committing the crimes, I mean, as far as I've seen. Now, now you'd have to concede, my man, that that everyone that's non-white commits 90% of those crimes in New York City. That's statistically, yes. Specifically murder rates. Hmm. And you might say, murder. You might say, well, what's the breakdown of the murders in New York City? I think wow. it would be a big percentage. I, I think. Don't laugh. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I, oh, I see, I see what you're trying to say, but I'm also trying to say like 90%? Yeah. 90% of murders would go 90%. down? I think 90%. Murder rate. How many murders go on in New York every you year? You didn't put it on a card. It's such yet. a bad hill to die on, is Do what it. I'm thinking of. It's like I wanna, I've already gone I wanna into support it. you I just... on some level of like it's gonna be some really hyper specific re justification for this, but it's just not a good look. <laughs> it's just not a good look, and I don't want it. Listen, I already committed, I guess. So benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Am I gonna be fucked right now? Is that know. it? My point is even, even if, if you were fucked either. <laughs> The point is, if it's like, no way, if it's like 89%, yeah. you're still fucked. There's you no know? way to win this. Just let me, let me see. Even if you're right, there's no way. That's right. Oh my god! You see? It was worth I'm it. I'm not racist. It was worth I'm the card. I'm speaking the facts. It was the worth truth. it. It was worth the card. Wow. Minorities in New York City commit 90%. We gotta just keep moving. How did you know that? Well, <laughs> how did I know that? Uh. You ever read a book? All right. He's a minority. A minority? Yeah. Killing people? Yeah. No. <laughs> he's, Grab he's, your card. He's gonna give you something like Karl Marx here in a second. No, him. It's his turn. The average man lies or avoids having to tell the truth four times a week versus women who do so three times a week. Who lies more? That's simple as the game. Four is a pretty low number. But, yeah, I gotta... The woman lie. I think it can be little lies, social lies. I think a lot of just like uh -oh. fakeness towards each other. I will say, I think it's because of... <laughs> <gasps> What's up? No, just keep going. You already looked at it. No, oh, just keep going. But you just looked at it. I just want to hear what you're saying. Not look dumb because you already know <laughs> the answer. Just keep, going. just keep going. I was just saying that there's like the social norms mm -hmm. and such yes. where I feel like women are pressured to be a little like less blunt and honest in, in a lot of social situations where men are less susceptible to that. To mm -hmm. that. And that's the only reason. That's my vote as well. But it, of course okay. it's big. <laughs> yeah, great. Women tend to lie to save someone's feelings from getting hurt, while men lie more often to save money or to win an argument. Mm. Damn. Mm. Damn. Who's in? La who's about to lose? I got three cards. Before I lose. I've got three. You got about three. three. Oh, I'll get five. it. Brazilian users of the app named Whippler, a kink friendly Tinder like app, have a preference for odor related kinks. What? A fucking niche stereotype question. You're saying in Brazil, yeah. they get off on smells. Yeah. I can see that. It's awesome. It's so weird. It's like, what am I supposed it's to have? True. A fucking pre existing opinion about whether Brazil gets off on like. There is a true. kink for that. Smelly smells. I think it's supposed to be like how ignorant oh, you are. Where you're like, yeah, smell. I believe that yeah, shit. Ooh, they love. <laughs> I believe there's some weird shit one? down there. Yeah, you're <laughs> That's right, true. That's true. It's just so yeah. dumb. Okay. I think Brazilians are freaky. Right. There you go. I so, love it when you fart in my mouth, baby. Okay. Is that you or the card? Both. <laughs> uh, researchers from McMaster University uh, tested six adults aged 19 to 31 born with 
cataracts in both eyes. After playing a first person shooter video game for 40 hours over a month long period, their vision worsened considerably. What do you think? Yeah. I don't know if cataracts gets affected by like screen usage. Also, why just a first person shooter? Well, is that different? Is that oddly you gotta specific? Focus your gamer right. eyes on the screen. Be different. The it's Tetris. More. Three, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, two, oh, okay. one. Whoa! What was that? Whoa. I put it on the wrong side. Oh, okay. I did not. I do not. Yeah, I don't believe that. I don't Whoa. believe that one. None of us believe it. No. And we're all right. There you go. Just the opposite. Their vision improved to the point where they were able to read one or two lines further down on an optician's eye chart. Take that, mom. Fortnite is saving children's eyes. It's not a first person shooter, I'm sorry. Here. This one is not a controversial question. Do you want me to skip it? Skip it, man. I don't want controversial. You want controversial. about internet pornography. No, no one cares about that. Only 43% of people on the, on the internet look at pornography. How about those Koreans, though? Koreans? I see them sometimes. Do you yeah. see it now? Koreans are 65 times more likely than other immigrants to operate dry cleaners. I don't know. I haven't been to many dry cleaners, so I don't know. Laundromats in Koreatown, but... It's a... Uh, okay, three, two, one. Oh shit. What a harmless stereotype. I'm just not, like, I don't... It's it's like the other one where it was like, actually, it's just 11 to 1 yeah. instead of like mm -hmm. 65. Yeah, it's gonna be like 25 times more likely. It'll right. be like, okay, hmm. I'm not, I'm a racist. What's the answer? 100, listen to this. Koreans are only 34 times more likely. Oh, I'm a bigot! We right. You we fucking right. shit game. You fucking You're idiots. a bigot. Man. Oh, only 34 times more likely. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Look at this guy. You got one card you got left. One away. I'm, I'm with you, dude. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Lose again. I'm yeah, racist. Guys, I don't know what the guy is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Research has shown that the female brain is directly affected by semen as a special protein present <laughs> in semen stimulates the female brain and <laughs> ovulation. See? That's um, fucking correct. That's Hell yeah, read it again, that's read it again. Up. That's so true. Uh, research has shown that female brain is directly affected by <laughs> semen because semen has special proteins that stimulate the, stimulate so the brain. Like when it enters ovulation. her body through any port of entry, it's, the yeah. brain goes... <laughs> Pretty it's much. True. It only <laughs> takes pure milliseconds for a nerve in the bottom of your feet to reach your brain. I'm pleased to join the team ignorance here, but I'm sure we're all gonna be. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Get your dose! What does it say? Give me a high five. I'm, I'm waiting. Huh? Give me a high five. Oh. <laughs> so we can. What does it say? <laughs> It's called nerve growth factor and acts as a hormonal signal to the female brain and the pituitary gland. Give me some brain for the good of your brain, <laughs> bitch. It does not say bitch. What does it it do? says bitch. What does it do to the male it brain? It says, I didn't add that. What does it do to the male brain? Semen? Yeah. What, it's, you don't ovulate. It's in your body 24-7. What if it is? <laughs> Makes you fucking <laughs> what act like a dipshit. What if it goes in your ass instead? <laughs> Okay. Like, there's a, like a double dose. Right? There's additional semen. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it makes you gay. <laughs> what? Like them giraffes I heard about. What the heck? They're all about it. If you have semen in your butthole that makes you gay. <laughs> <laughs> Could be an accident. That's not fair. No, but I think they're related. It's a weird comic book storyline. Oh Whose uh, turn is it to read? Uh, I guess it would be mine. I get distracted by conversation. Uh, roughly 64% of all chlamydia cases reported in 2015 were diagnosed for people aged 15 to 24. What are 15 year olds getting chlamydia? How do they, what? It's easy. Is it, you speak from experience? <laughs> no. I'm gonna put, that's a fucking fact right there, boys. Chlamydia specifically, yeah, I think so. Yeah. You know, you, you backpack abroad. I don't know how 15 year olds get it. It's, it's kicking around there. <laughs> backpacking down. abroad? You know, a lot of 15 year olds backpacking abroad? No, but you know. No. Somebody is, and they come into town, and all the 15 year olds fuck them, and they all have chlamydia. What That's is it? That's what the back of the card's gonna <laughs> is say. Is it like a transfer student? <laughs> no, it's a sexual offender traveling through the countryside, evading police. Whoa! <laughs> 
It's a weird I th- I just I was just going to say they probably <laughs> use less protection. That's right. That's it. It just says if you guess racist, you clearly never went to a college campus. What about 15 year olds? They graduate high school early and then it's go like to It's like a Cornelia. pyramid scheme. It goes down. It trickles down. You know, <laughs> some somebody starts it and it, it disperses beneath them. Okay, guys. Uh, the five countries with the lowest average IQ are all African countries. <sighs> These Africa questions, they really, they I really get you. I think this is my moment. I'm on your to side. To break free out of the fucking PC. There's a lot place. of African countries, and a lot of them are, aren't doing so so good on that front. We're all in agreement? We're Africa all sucks. We're all gonna feel bad. Nice. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, it's been around a long I'm time. I'm not gonna feel bad. Yikes, bro. That's racist. Four out of five are African countries. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't care. Four out of the five are African countries, with St. Lucia being the lone outlier. So if it said four of the countries the lowest average IQ are all it African, be right. you'd be all... Be ra- it wouldn't be racist. No. It, would be, it would be right. Yeah. But because there's... Our ignorant friend over here lost twice in a row, and it wasn't even close. <laughs> I got a lot of cards left. Shut the fuck up. If you have semen in your butthole that makes you gay. Howdy, gentlemen and ladies. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to check out some of the videos we have on this channel because we got plenty, and some of them are a little less controversial. Also, we got a cool link in the description just for you guys out there who are looking to spend some money this Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate. I'm really trying not to be ignorant right now. I already lost this game like two fucking times in a row. I can't possibly even be more ignorant. Um, but we got some shirts and stuff like that for sale. Also, thank you for supporting our Patreon. It means a lot. We can buy cool outfits like this. And uh, we'll see you at the next rally. Whichever one it may be. <laughs> <laughs>